like a giant ball of fire, but what you're actually uh, taking a look at and you're seeing right here is an eruption from the sun associated with what's called a solar flare. Let's bring in our meteorologist, Chad Myers. So Chad, explain why this happens. What's going on? You know, we are in an 11-year cycle. We're going up to the peak of the 11-year cycle, Wolf, which means that we are going to see more active sunspots and more active solar flares, and even the CMEs, or the coronal mass ejection. What we had over the weekend was basically the atmosphere of the sun exploding away from the sun, sending gases and protons and, and plasma out into the sky. The good news, this was not aimed at the Earth. This was aimed to the left. If anything comes at us, this could actually affect some of our communications. It could affect some of the satellites. It could affect some of the power outages and some of the power grids because there's a lot of energy. There's a lot of power coming out literally of that explosion coming at the earth or coming either to the left or to the right. But I just want to give you an idea because I have a different colored image behind me just to kind of give you a sense of scale. The sun right here, that would be the size of the earth. You could put 20 Earths or so inside just that circle where the explosion occurred. So the size, the, 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 the enormous size of the sun is something to imagine. But when you put the Earth into context, you realize how big that explosion really was, Wolf.